हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रशांत त्यागी लीगल इंटर्न फ्रॉम टीम रिलैक्सेशन कंपनी आई होप यू ऑल गाइज आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी आई होप यू लाइक माय प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट ऑन माय वीडियोस एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल लेक्स क्लिक फॉर लेट फॉर गेटिंग लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक लॉस टू कॉम्बैट जॉब क्राइसिस इन गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो In this video, we are going to discuss the unemployment introduction, employment dynamism, and the four points that describes the uh, unemployment crisis and the provisions that helps in the employment increase. So let's start. First of all, we discuss the introduction. The employment is emerging as the biggest social problem. It takes away the massive share of the refund drum. If any political party, party comes to his agenda, it is a hardcore reality that unemployment has never said goodbye to job seekers in India. However, it has been a liability of the government in rule to avail jobs. But every political party uses the job crisis as a credit to get a breakthrough in the coming general elections. Despite knowing the situation at the back of their mind, they often cover it up in one more promise, which is certainly not going to be true. the employment dynamism recently the current prime minister denied publicizing the survey report by india national S- sample survey office and its labor bureau perhaps it is it's spotlight a significant decline in the employment that can be proved on rdx to sabotage the dream of regaining the power besides they try to take a refuge under the speedy spike in vehicle registration professional service providers and sales of auto rickshaws on being a free, frequent victim of fake promises the job seeking community believes that there is little that there has been been done in the government job sector however the ruling party was aware of this fact that white came with the ews amendment just ahead of elections but still there are many verticals that remains vulnerable their exposure can deplete unemployment or employment crisis in india now we discuss about the four points that uh, helps in understanding that the employment can be rises through this points there are breakthrough points uh, first 10% reservation the current government has introduced a provision of 10% reservation under the ews economical weaker section Now the economical disadvantages group will be able to claim the reserve seat while applying for the government job. It can be a big hit to the general category candidate that dream about cracking the IAS or the UPSC government job examination. Even many non-residents attempt to claim a sophisticated profile in India, but the stringent law to be analyzed prohibits them. Second, cut in the central government jobs. There is significant decline over the previous four years in the job. The job seekers population is still swelling, but many of the government vacancies as teaching jobs, banking jobs, PCS jobs, defence jobs, or any other jobs are still vacant. What I mean is that the reservation laws are and amendments could spell the magic if there was enough count of jobs in the government sector. The fact is not worthy that the employment sector is shrunk by 75,000 jobs since 2014. The number of central staff is fallen down by 75,231 as per declaration in the union budget of the 2018 and 19. Third point: fill up vacancies. The current projections support light around 24 million vacant positions in the central government ministries. department and public undertakings although the government has been projecting additional manpower of around 2 lakh every year that the real figure is lesser consequently the government agencies and their organizations have been facing its consequences it result in determinant of their functioning If schools and colleges are encountering scarcity of teachers hospitals are running out of doctors nurses and support staffs much of the work is done by the ad hoc workers or the chief there is a quality of public service delivery declines low salary for health and nutrition services how have you ever visited the anganwadis their work for the accredited social health activist auxiliary nurse midwives anganwadi workers and midday meal providers you will be dumbstruck after knowing their wage it is below the standard minimum wage also their tenure is unsafe they can be thrown out of their jobs any point of time the counter of the crisis 
of unemployment the government should ensure that they get at least minimum wages along the security of their tenure moreover it can be stretched them to level that was not set before the expansion would certainly prove to the opposite in the enfeebling employment fourth point 100 days of work under manrega the letter of the law that is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act proposes a mandate to the guarantee at least 100 days of work to rural households and if they are not provided with the work they can demand half the minimum wages of the payment of the unemployment allowance so far the state government have been running out of hands hence they carry over the large unpaid funds as deferred payments each year as per the constitution the law explicitly states that the money must be credited whenever there is a demand for the work but the governments have been going against the law deferring payments for the next financial year they find payments burdensome thereby the idea of reducing an explicit demand of work get encouraged finally we discuss the conclusion there are many sectors and disciplines when residents and non residents can seek a better job prospect in the government sector but the unorganized layout and no intentions to uplift position of a job seeker are surging the crisis of unemployment i hope you understand the topic you like the topic please like share comment on this video and subscribe our channel law lex click for getting latest updates thank you so much stay safe stay tuned have a nice day